Hi scholars, uh, we're going to continue with solving word problems. Uh, to solve a word problem, you have to read the problem first. So let's get started with that right away. Alright, it says Mr. Oliver bought 88 pencils. He sold 27 of them. How many pencils did he have left? Now, I read that problem and I read it to check to see if it's a compare problem, if it's a comparison model. And it's not uh, because I didn't see, um, I didn't read any words about um, how many more, how many fewer, how many less than, how many greater than. Um, so I will uh, assume that it is a uh, a part whole model, and in a part whole model, we just continue on the same bar. Okay. All right. It says Mr. Oliver bought 88 pencils. All right. So I know that this is about Mr. Oliver and he's bought 88 pencils. So I'm going to draw a bar to represent the pencils that Mr. Oliver has bought. Incidentally, Mr. Oliver was a um, the name of my headmaster at my high school um, and he was an incredible man um, and this problem goes out to him. Alright, uh, so it says Mr. Oliver bought 88 pencils so these are the pencils that he bought. Let's call them 88. We're going to draw a brace first. And this is 88, and this represents the number of pencils that Mr. Oliver bought. Okay, it says he sold 27 of them, 27 of these 88 pencils that he has. So, therefore, I will draw a, a line here and from here to here will represent 27 so I'll draw a brace that goes from here to here and it'll represent 27 of the pencils and that represents what he sold okay and then it says uh, how many pencils did he have left well from here to here must be the number of pencils that he had left so I'm gonna draw another brace and these are how many he had left. And I'm going to put a question mark there because that's exactly what the question is asking us. How many pencils did he have left? That's this part right here. Okay? And because uh, I'm missing a part in the problem, um, this is going to be a subtraction problem. All right? Notice how I'm not, not paying attention to any keywords here like um, left. Left does not mean subtract. Um, it, it, it just means... Um, it just means a part that is that's being asked for okay um, so 88 is my total so I will start there 88 is my whole so I'll start with 88 minus the part that I know which is 27 and 88 minus 27 will give me the answer for this part right here alright 88 minus 27 let's see All right, so I have 27 is uh, two tens and seven ones, so I will subtract 20 from 88, and I get 68. I took I just took two tens from the eight tens I had, and I have 68. And now I'm gonna take away seven from 68, and that means I'm taking away seven from uh, the eight ones, the seven ones from the eight ones, and that means I'll have one one left along with the six ones that I had I'm sorry the six tens that I had um, so this would be sixty one six tens and one one six sixty one alright so eighty eight minus twenty seven equals sixty one we put the sixty one right there and if I put these two numbers together I should get eighty eight this is how I can check to see if my answer is correct alright so I have an answer, but I am not done because I have a model, I have a number sentence, and I have to put my answer in a complete sentence. How many pencils did he have left? Mr. Oliver had 61 pencils left. And that is a complete problem for answering a word problem. Hope that you enjoyed and are able to practice with some other problems that you'll see 
later on um, in your life. All right, take care.